Cracking YouTube, Jobber here, and we haven't done any classic openings on the channel and for quite a while, I would say, so I figured it was time to pop open some 2005, yes, 2005, that's 15 years ago, they created these, The Dark Beginnings 2. So there's 20 blister packs. I bought these for my friend. I don't know if you want to call it a booster box or a case. It came in a box, and there's 20 of them in it. I don't know if that's a box or a, a or a case of blisters or a booster box of blisters, whatever. It comes with 20. We have 20 right here. We're gonna pop open all these and hopefully we get some amazing pulls. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, one. And then two, if this video reaches 800 likes, I will give away a booster box in the most recent set, so stay tuned for that. Drop a comment down below so I actually pick a winner, and I'll announce the winner in the comments of the next video, so stay tuned for that. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, bell, turn on all notifications to actually get notified when I post future openings, and follow me on Instagram. There's a link in the description down below, so check that out. Nice, easy way for you guys to be able to say hi to me, and I always will say hi back. This is always try to all right well without any further ado let's get cracking all right well like i said we haven't been opening much that we've been doing a lot of like buyouts and i think it's time to pop open some classic blister packs here so here we are what a beautiful blister pack is blade knight right on the top of it like i said 15 years that's how old these are let's bring them to the light let's open these things up and let's see what's inside Ooh. This booster pack just... Oh, yeah. Oh, they still smell like brand new cards. It smells like 2005. <laughs> All right, so we have a tip card. 13 of 50. All right, let's move that out of the way here. Let's go take a look at what we have inside. What amazing, cool, cool, Luster Dragon number two, right on. We got the Tornado Bird, a uh, Tuna Gemini Elf, okay. We got the Ruryuku Field, which is our rare. Let's put that in the middle there. So we have a Destiny Board, that's cool. Yeah, I forgot about the Destiny Board pieces being here. We'll have to put together, nice, another Destiny Board piece. Got the eye right there. So we'll try to put together Destiny Board as we move along, I guess. Yeah, maybe we will, <laughs> why not? Since we already got the, probably the more difficult one, F. We'll see how many des Destiny board pieces we can get. Or it's final, I'm sorry. <laughs> in the TCG, it's final. Over in the OCG, they, it was, I believe it was death, actually. So, that's a little, <laughs> that's a little harsh. <laughs> so I can see why they changed over to the Destiny board from spelling out final. Pretty cool. All right, so we have what? The tip card, 15 of 80. And then right off the bat here, we have a DB2, Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, which is a really cool card. And it prevents yeah, your opponent from being able to banish from either a graveyard. And that's really nice. And then when you deal any battle damage to your opponent's life points, you're able to remove and play two monsters from the graveyard. Originally, when it first came out, before they errated it, they made it so you could banish any two cards, which is actually really useful back then because everyone was running Magician of Faith. So being able to banish Scythe pot of greed, things like that, delinquent duo. They're power cards from their graveyard from play with Kaiku, which is very, very nice because a lot of the times they didn't really have very many monsters in their graveyard to begin with. So you would just be attacking over their monster and you can't remove from play the monster that you attacked over. <clears throat> so you just banish the, their spell cards they used their first turn, pot of greed, guess of charity. So for... So on and so forth. Uh, so what do we have? Tip card 21 of 50. And then we have one of, our, one of my all-time favorite cards. The Purple Bird of Doom. Yatta. Very beautiful. Laser Fiend. The Shining Friendship. Cool. Dragon Seeker. This came in one of the old school tournament packs. Was that tournament pack 4? Originally came in? Maybe wrong. Blast with Chain. Okay. Put that down there. And we got Spirit Message N. We'll put that down. <laughs> and Block Attack. Very cool. Some nice classic commons in here that have obviously seen a lot of play <laughs> over time. I've had Block Attack happen. Putting my, uh, my Defense Booster Monster into attack position. I have basically seen it all. <laughs> I've been Mirror Walled, Shrunk, uh, Rush Recklessly. I've had Shrink played against me multiple times. 
Never did I ever have shrink played against me when that car was like $2,000 though. And by the way, that was the tip card. 20 of 50. All right, so we have a Bazoo, the Soul Eater. This was a actually a meta card. They ran this re Return to Different Dimension as well back in the day. Uh, I was one of the ones that created the Chaos Return deck back then, and then they made a, bit, a Bazoo Return deck. Basically, they do like card troopers and mill their graveyard, and then do this and banish them, and then return from Different Dimension and attack your opponent for game. <laughs> it's actually a pretty uh, simple concept, but it had a lot of success. And some of the simplest decks always have the best success, actually. It's kind of crazy. You got Toon Cannon Soldier here. Very cool. I was a big fan of all the Toon Monsters. And I think Toon Cannon Soldier is one of my favorite Toon Monsters. Obviously, Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon is probably my all-time favorite, to be honest. I mean, Blue Eyes White Dragon being my all-time favorite card and turn it into a Toon Monster. That was pretty cool. Especially when I first saw it on the show against Pegasus. I thought that was really cool. And these booster packs, if you've noticed, yes, they do have more pack, more cards than usual. They have 13 cards per pack, which is pretty cool. So 36 of 50 on our tip cards. Oh, right on. And we got to end up getting a ultra rare barrel dragon. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Check that out. Wow, that is awesome. All right, it's time. Time for a little shout out here to our KMC Hypermat sleeves for donating sleeves to the channel. And let's sleeve this sucker up. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Wow. That's, <laughs> it's perfect. And you're like, well, what do you mean by perfect? Sometimes cards are like the borders and stuff on the sides are kind of cut off. I mean, I, I'm looking at it and it looks great. Like the centering on this card looks fantastic. I love it. Oh my gosh. Pulling an ultra rare and then this thing is like cherry condition. Yeah, we're probably going to get this thing graded. We're going to... Obviously, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, I, I already set out to be mailing off that giant pile of cards that got a little bit delayed because one, I was I was searching around to see what's the best subscription and asking some questions about it, and then we had this big virus thing roll out, and that's been delaying a lot of things, shipping and uh, PSA was they closed down for a little bit and then they opened back up. So I'll have to go and check a look and see if they're going to be open and not all bogged down. Then I'll be able to go and mail off an even bigger pile of cards, actually. I added, I, added, I added a few more cards to it. Nothing like super crazy. I did the video on it so you guys were able to check out all the stuff essentially. I, I just I added a few things to the pile. So when I get the PSA return, that is going to be an epic first up on the channel. And it's going to be a lot of cards too. It's going to be about 300 cards. And what do we have here? Tip card 1250. And we end up pulling right off the bat one of my all time favorite cards to ever be made Morphe Jar. Love this card. The thing flips both you and your opponent, discard your entire hands, and then draw five new cards. Very cool. And we have our commons. The Twin Hitted Behemoth, very cool. Axe Raider, but this came in a super rare. What was that? Was that Tournament Pack 1, Tournament Pack 2? Old card. Not the Butcher there, another old card. I think when it deals damage to your opponent's life points, you get to draw two cards. My friend was trying it out in one of the old school uh, mill decks, or make your opponent draw cards as well. Helps mill out their deck. Uh, Tune Table of Contents, that's a nice common to pull. And the Black Luster Ritual, Black Illusion Ritual, what am I talking about? <laughs> That's for a rolling question. I think Black Luster. I was thinking for the Black Luster Soldier. The one you saw on the show. Oh my gosh, that was a, such a such an epic summoning when they put the Black Luster Soldier on the field when Yugi did it for the first time on the show. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy. And what do we have here? Tip card 15 of 50. And, ooh, almost dropped the entire pile there, right? Right on camera, that would have been nice. <laughs> All right, Thousand Dragon is our common there. The Wicked Worm Beast. I believe this is like the first spirit monster, but not a spirit monster. Allow me to read. Uh, this face-up card in the field returned to its owner hand during the end phase of the turn. It is literally a spirit monster, but not a spirit monster. <laughs> it's, that's crazy. Then they read that, and they're probably like, wow, that's actually not a bad idea. We'll just do that. The Royal Keeper, I ran these in my zombie deck. What does it do? I think it's a flip effect. You can flip this card to face down defense position once per turn during your main phase. When this card is flipped face up, increase the attack and defense of this card by 300 points until the end of this turn. And it's flipped up. Okay, so it's 1900 attack, 2000 defense when you flip it. I ran it one of my old zombie decks. Obviously, we were limited on zombie monsters back then, so. There's one of our. There's our rare. Put that down there, actually, since you're, you're not even guaranteed a foil in these booster packs, as you guys have already noticed. Most of our packs just contain a rare in them. 
We have pulled one foil. Uh, that is the highest rarity that you could possibly pull is a ultra rare in here, I believe. Forgive me, I, I actually have not opened very many uh, DB2 booster packs. They, as you guys know, they are 15 years old, pretty hard to get a hold of. And this is the first time me ever opening this many. Uh, tip 23 of 50, opening this many at once, and it's an entire box, so if there is any, if they had any ratios, this would be the box to open, to give you actually an idea of what you've been pulling. The Rapid Horseman, very cool. The Aqua Spirit and Destiny Board there. Magical Thorn, disappear. Emergency Provisions, very cool. And we got to Wing Beat there, and that card is scary. Return like a level 5 or higher Dragon Monster, destroy all spells and trap cards from the side of the field. Return to the owner's hand, one face up, level 5 or higher Dragon Monster on your side of the field, and destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. Yeah, that was a problem. So they did that against Her They would do that with Heratic. They put the Heratic on the field, and then bounce it back, and then blow up all your back row. And then they special summon it back, and then proceed to OTK you. <laughs> that was what it did. And it happened to me. It was crazy though that it happened to me because I was playing a deck that really didn't even have any back roll. I was having playing with threatening roars and wabakus, and I just did not draw any. Uh, what is that? Tip card eleven of fifty, and we have our Toon Mask Sorcerer. It's our first card there. Cave Dragon, very cool. I think it's our first Cave Dragon, maybe our second. A Swarm of Locusts, the Dark Dust Spirit. This thing is tribute summon. It's a spirit monster. It's like Dark Hole, except it doesn't pop himself. So it's really cool. And it's worked really well with the, with the Monarch, the Frog Monarch deck, bringing back Treeborn Frog and tripping off and blowing up their board and attacking. Uh, bottomless Trap Pool. And the reason why is because uh, they also had a bunch of cards like uh, Battle Fader and whatnot. And some of them even ran Swift Scarecrow, but most of the time it was just Battle Fader. Battle Fader, Gores, and Trigodia. So even with their board being open, it was terrifying to attack with a, just a normal monster because, well, one, you're going to get Battle Fadered, and then two, on their turn, they're probably going to tribute like either for a Dark Dust Spirit or they are going to be tributed for a Light, light Darkness Dragon or something in that in that category with them having two monsters on the field since Treeborn Frog comes back their next turn. Uh, tip card, 8 of 50. Nice. we got Dark Bolter the Terrible here is our rare. Very nice card. Oh, and then we got the Jirai Gombo. Starboy. Very cool. Robin Goblin. Very nice. The Book of Taiyu reminds me of my old Empty Jar deck. I originally, when we, me and my friend first made that deck uh, back in the day, we called it uh, Turbo Jar. And then uh, we pulled some deck profiles on it, and a few people uh, copied the deck, and they did well at an event. I believe a guy, I believe a guy topped a YCS with it, and, and then ended up getting the name Empty Jar. And that was the adopted name, but the original name was Turbo Jar. <laughs> All right, so we have tip car 10 of 50. Oh my gosh, what are the odds of that? Another ultra rare barrel dragon. And I think this one has a little bit of a... Yeah, see the border on this one's a little bit different. See the see the see how the bottom of it is a little bit more than the top? See how the top's a little bit thinner than the bottom? That's what I'm talking about. When you got the centering. So it's all new to me. Maybe a lot of you out there are a lot more... Uh, aware of this kind of stuff than I am, but this one's the center, it's a little bit off. So, long story short, if you were to mail this into PSA, even though the card is in mint condition, because the border's a little bit off, you're not gonna get a PSA 10, just because of that, even though the card is in perfect condition. I had to do a little bit of research and ask a lot of people. <laughs> King Dagger Wing, ooh, very cool card. And we got the, what is that, Troop Dragon? Shadow Ghoul, I haven't seen Shadow Ghoul uh, on the series since the very first season, I believe. Crazy, Diffusion. And stomping destruction. Okay. On to our next. So far, two ultra rares, and I am excited about that because one of them looks like it's absolutely perfect, and perfect means 10, and 10 means PSA, and that would be fun. Tip card 14 of 50. Oh, there we go. Our first super rare. And we have Poland, the Total Defense Shogun. This guy absolutely was mind-blowing back in the day because everybody was using Mirror Force, Sakuretsu Armor, and then eventually Dimensional Prison. Uh, but basically, back then when this guy first came out, I believe it was a Sakuratsu Armor in Mirror Force. And when you tribute summon this monster, you can tribute summon him in, in a defense position like this, and he can attack in defense position. <laughs> so he couldn't be Mirror Forced. So absolutely crazy. Really, really cool card. And uh, actually, the centering of this card looks really good. 
This might be another one, another one of those cards that gets graded. Beautiful, right on. And he's really cool looking, as you guys can tell. Oh, we got a common Mooka Mooka. Another Jirai Gomo. Gemini Elf, our first one. A twin, well, a twin headed Thunder Dragon. A creepy zombie. I ran this in one of my old school zombie decks back then. I ran them all. I love zombies. Cole the Mummy is another one. If you control no monster, you can special summon one zombie monster from your hand onto the field. So you can special summon those big star zombies for free. But the issue was you'd have to try to get to that Call the Mummy as quick as possible. Otherwise, you're sitting with a bunch of high-level monsters in your hand, which doesn't work very well. But you're cruising as soon as you would draw that Call of the Mummy. I almost had, like, back then, like a mystical space typhoon or something. Tip card, 17 to 50. Oh, we got the mechanical chaser here. Very cool. Uh, this is a uh, turnip pack one ultra rare. Very, very old card. The tune, tune goblin attack force. With the blade fly there. The royal command rare. Very nice. I hope I've been diligent about putting my rares down. I might have put a, I might have shuffled in some rares into the, into the commons, <laughs> talk it away and not paying attention. Oh, I'll look through it again anyway. Most of these time, these like old classic commons like this, I hold on to anyway because they're just, they're just so old. It's kind of cool. What do we have here? Tip card nineteen to fifty. Well, this was uh, the Tournament Pack 5 Ultra Rare. <laughs> give you guys an idea of some of these reprints they were doing. They were reprinting old school Tournament Pack cards in here. We have Bubble Crash, the Robin Goblin. Very cool. And oh, nice. Uh, rare Reinforcements of the Army. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually really pleased with our pulls so far. We have three hollows, which is nice. I don't know if we're going to get any more. <laughs> I don't know if there's any set ratios. I'm assuming no, since these are blister packs. I don't know if these are like this. If you're just buying like a box, like this would be something that they, that Target or Walmart back in the day would have gotten. Tip card, 22 of 50. So if that's so, then we have, oh, we would have no ratios. If that is absolutely gorgeous. Tyrant Dragon, this card is absolutely insane. And what a beauty. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. What a beautiful ultra rare. Wow. We're pulling really well out of these uh, blister packs. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. What a, gr that's such a good dragon. I'm gonna tackle your opponent's monster. That'll, it's effects is it's just great. <laughs> it's just a really, really good dragon monster. Um, uh, when this card, when, when there is a monster on your opponent's side of the field after this card's monster's first attack of the battle phase, this card can attack once again. So it can attack, it, it can attack twice. Okay, I thought it was going to attack all of them. In addition, they get the effect of a trap card that targets this card and destroy it. If this card is special summoned from the graveyard by other cards effect, you must tribute one dragon monster on your side of the field. Very nice. So when you put him on the field, he can he can attack twice, beat over one monster, beat over another. Very nice. Bottomless trap hole, and he's and he's terrifyingly high. He's twenty nine hundred attack, so he is getting over most things. I always thought that was pretty cool how the dragon how dragons in Yu Gi Oh, bro, most of the time, <laughs> basically the highest attack monsters. What do we have here? Tip card, seven of fifty. Little old spirit monsters. This is playing different kinds of different uh, anti-meta decks, actually. Oh, dice jar, very cool. I like all the jar cards. Gil swords there. Another mechanical chaser. Drop off. And needle stealing. Ooh, and then we have fusion gate. Was our rare here? Very nice. So yeah, we have four foils, three of them being ultra rare. I'm gonna say that's pretty dang good. We only pulled one super, and that was the the total defense shogun over there. That is awesome. Okay, what do we have here? Tip card, 16 to 50. And we have the rare Jogan the Spiritualist. This guy's really cool. Randomly discard one, random, one card from your hand, destroy all, ooh. 
What have we got going on here? <laughs> Destroy all special summon monsters on the field, and as long as that monster remains face up on the field, no monsters can be special summoned. Joking the Spiritualist is a good card. Miracle Dig and the Mirage of Nightmare. All right, down to our last three blister packs here. The Dark Beginnings 2, 2005, 15 years old. These packs are right now, unless you're not opening, unless you're not watching this video right now in the 2020 year, and then it could be 2021, 2022, you never know. <laughs> Openings are infinite, you can always watch them. Tip card, five of 50. Very nice. This is our first one of these, actually. I know they're Mooka Mooka. Tomb Goblin Attack Force. Another Blade Fly. Thousand Dragon, very nice. Disappear. The Pharaoh's Treasure. Another rare reinforce of the army. Very cool. All right, on to our last two booster packs. Let's see if we can end things here with a hollow or not. We shall see. What do we got here? Tip card, 20 of 50. I believe we already got that one. The Swarm of Locusts. Dark Dust Spirit. The Toon Cannon Soldier. Very nice. Oh, nice. We got a rare Horn of Heaven. You get the summon of a monster. Tribute off a monster on your side of the field to do so. Another Mirage of Nightmare in there. Cool. All right. Well, on to our last booster pack here. It's our last chance to pull a foil, even though I am really happy with the amount of foils that we already pulled, being that we pulled four. Three of them being epic ultra rares, and two of them being Barrel Dragon. All right. Here we go. Tip card, down at 9 of 50. And, ooh, doesn't look like we're going to be getting a foil out of this one. But that is A-OK, -okay, since we've already pulled four. A short priest, very cool. This one, oh, never mind. I was wrong, and boy, was I wrong. The super rare, solemn judgment. Man, we could end things on a foil. Nice. Cyber Knight's luck was on our side. Right on. Boo. Woo, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, what a card to pull, too. Solemn Judge, we got a high five on that one. Bah. Gosh, that is cool. Oh, what a beauty. Oh, there's a, there's a, I don't know. <laughs> Part of the booster pack was, was tagging along there. What a beautiful card. Wow, super rare, solemn judgment, our last booster pack. We got a lot of foils. Five hollows out of 20 booster packs for these classic ones. I would say we did really, really well. I don't know, uh, I don't know if I pulled out all the rares or not. I probably didn't, because I'm terrible. I don't think we got, I don't think we completed Destiny Board either. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> We did not complete final, unfortunately. We got some of the pieces, though, for a later time. And these are the rares I did pull out in case I missed some. I probably put some away. Pretty cool seeing these since they're just so difficult to get. I mean, these, these rares, you might as well just call them foils. Such classic cards. And then, all right, so let's let's go over to the, the big boys here. These were the winners. So we have our... Beautiful, ultra rare, Tyrant Dragon. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Our two, one of our two super rares, the Total Defense Shogun. Very cool. Put that over there. We'll move move right over here to our super rare Solemn Judgment. We ended the video on absolutely epic. Oh my gosh, and it is so beautiful. And then we got not one but two ultra rare Barrel Dragons. Wow. That is awesome. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Absolutely love opening classic products. If you have any classic products, please reach out to me on Instagram. Uh, I'll, if you're willing to donate or sell them to me, just hit me up. I would love to take a look. And again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe bell, turn on all notifications. And again, if this video reaches 800 likes, I'll be giving away a booster box, the most recent set. And I'll let you know in the comments in the next video, so stay tuned for that. I try to post a video every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Those are the days. All right. Jobber here is sat it down.